Comrades and friends, um, I'd like to welcome everybody here to this meeting of the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition. The meeting's been called to launch our election campaign for the London elections on the 3rd of May. My name is Nick Rack. I'm a member of the Tusk, that's the acronym for the Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition. I'm a member of the Tusk National Steering Committee and I'm also a candidate in these elections and I'm going to be chairing this rally tonight. The Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition was formed because there is no party that speaks for the millions of ordinary working class people who are battered by this government's austerity programme. The budget today, and I'm sure we're going to hear more about it from our speakers, was a budget for the rich and for big business, and it's at our expense. You just take three things that have happened this week. The vote to destroy the National Health Service, the decision to maintain and not increase the minimum wage for young people, and the cut in the top rate of tax for the very richest, the 50p in the pound rate that only those earning the small figure of £150,000 a year have to pay. That top 1%. Of course they can't afford it, can they? It's hard for them. That top 1% takes 13% of all the income in this country. They own 23% of all the wealth in this country. And yet they're the ones who are being protected. They are the ones who are being let off. Lowering pay rates, job losses, pay fees. That's what we face. Cuts, cuts, cuts. And it's not just the condemned coalition parties. As we know, Labour shares essentially the same approach. Miliband and Ball saying they're not prepared to announce that they will reverse the cuts, that they support the pay freeze. We, our class, the working class, and the middle class for that matter, people in better paid jobs even, we all face a three party consensus, and that consensus aims to make us pay for their crisis. Austerity is marching across Europe. The bosses and their political representatives will not be satisfied until they have driven down the wages and the living standards across Europe to the lowest common denominator. Make no mistake, austerity has its boots on and it won't stop until it's trampled on everything that we have won in the past and that we hold dear. It will not stop unless and until we stop it. And therefore we have to organise to do exactly that. And that means we've concluded building a political alternative. We are the trade unionist and socialist coalition. Four important words. Trade unionists. Because trade unions are a basic organisation for workers. They are our first line of defence. And socialists, because we understand that this crisis is not caused by ordinary people, but by the capitalist system. The private ownership of the resources of society organised to produce a profit for a tiny, super-rich elite. We believe that there's a better way of doing things where society's resources are owned by us all and production and the services we rely on are run democratically in the interests of all. Tusk candidates are standing in these elections in London and elsewhere 
And we're opposing all cuts, not just in words, but in deed. There's no point saying you oppose cuts and marching against cuts if you then vote for them. Labour councils up and down the country have implemented devastating cuts without even the glimmer of a fight. I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but I know of only one Labour councillor who had the bravery to vote against a Labour cuts budget. That was George Barrett in Barking and Dagenham. And what happened to him for refusing to go along with the cuts that would destroy the lives of the people that he represented? He was expelled from the Labour Party in Barking and Dagenham. The Greens in Brighton, who say that they're opposed to the cuts, they control the council there, and they've just voted through a cuts budget. Well, Tusk says no cuts, and we mean it. We do not want them, we do not need them, and we will not accept them. We will not pay for their crisis. The fourth word is coalition. We're not yet a party, we're a coalition. Division, on the left particularly, is a weakness. Unity, as we say, is strength. We're building that unity. This coalition unites the Socialist Party and the Socialist Workers' Party. It includes the Independent Socialist Network, representing socialists who are not in any organisation. We have the backing, the official backing, of the London region of the Fire Brigades Union. We have the support today of its General Secretary. We have the support of the General Secretary Bob Pro of the RMT and other leading figures in that union, as well as masses of its rank and file. Alex Gordon is our lead candidate in London. The RMT was a founding organisation of the Labour Party in 1900. In 2004, it was expelled for supporting candidates, socialist candidates, in Scotland. Throughout its history, and particularly since then, the RMT has championed the idea of working class political representation. And its leading figures like Bob and Alex and others, and its rank and file, have been stalwart supporters of Tusk. Bob Crow has earned a deserved reputation as being one of the trade union movement's best fighters for his members. I just want there's a couple of things before you go. Alex has mentioned there about the fact six weeks. We can do this. Have no mistake about it. We can get 5%. Standing up for workers in struggle, standing up for a new form of society, one in which everybody can share, not just the rich, then it would electrify the rest of the country. It would have international ramifications for that matter. And we can do it. The BMP, last time, got Barnbrook elected on 134,500 votes, just over 5%. We've got to aim to get at least 150,000 votes. I don't know what the turnout's going to be. 150,000 votes should see Alex elected. If we got 250,000 votes, we may get a second person elected, and I happen to be number two on the list, and I'm quite keen <laughs> for that. The Greens last time got two elected with 208,000 in London. We, uh, 200 and a quarter of a million. Now, is that feasible? Do you know people who are angry? Do you pick it up on the bus conversations, at the bus stops, on the buses, in the tubes? It's there. Our biggest challenge, really, is making sure that we publicise what we're trying to do. We need to build an alternative to the established parties. The working class needs a voice. Tusk is an important step towards what we are sorely lacking, and that is a united socialist party that fights
here and now, against every attack on our class, but also argues for a fundamental change in the way that society is organised. From capitalism, which has to be swept aside, the organised exploitation of the many in the interests of the few, and to be replaced with a new form of society, socialism, the democratic common ownership of society's resources, with planned investment according to need and not for profit. Join us, help us to begin the process, and thank you very much for attending.